Hey guys, Lexicon here. Welcome back. I know it's been a little bit since I uploaded a video, but I was away at the GameStop Expo in Las Vegas. There I got to see and experience firsthand a lot of the big titles that are coming out this year. I'll be sharing a lot of that information in upcoming videos, but what I want to talk about today is one that's near and dear to my heart, Star Wars Battlefront. If anybody that knows me knows I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so they had to, I had to set the bar really high on this game. So let me start out with saying that the game is really fun. Very approachable. Doesn't take much skill to actually get into the game. The gameplay itself played a lot like the original Battlefront 2, mixed heavily with the Battlefield 4 engine, but it errs more on the side of Battlefront. This makes it really easy for new players to get in and have a good time, be able to actually feel you're doing something. Didn't really have a lack of finding combat, though I will say when you respawn, if you weren't with a squad mate, you have to respawn back at your beginning on the walker assault. And it was kind of like Rush if you're respawning back at the end. It takes a little bit to get back into the battle. So it's important to have the partner. Now, unlike a squad in Battlefield 4, you only have one of the partners, so you can spawn on them. Now, I got a chance to try out a couple of the things in the game uh, the ATST walker. Went pretty uh, heavily on that. It's pretty fun. I uh, never did get into the ATAT. -AT. A couple people managed to beat me to it. Now the gameplay looks exactly like this video. The only thing that I noted, and it was the alpha, so this may be better by the time they launch the game, is that the graphic comparison to what they show in this trailer and what the game was actually was a, a bit off. The game still looked beautiful, as most Battlefield titles do, but the Graphical lines and stuff were a bit more jagged and some of the straight lines and everything. It wasn't quite as crisp. But as I said, it was an alpha build. Just trying to get the gameplay down, so we'll see when it gets closer to launch. The game itself was tremendously amount of fun. They really nailed the aesthetic of the game, the look, the feel. Uh, the blasters did feel a little bit differently. I tried a couple of different ones, and I did manage to actually get into one of the uh, TIE Fighters. However, I did not invert my controls beforehand on the uh, vehicle control, so I end up just spinning around and around and around trying to get control of it before I finally just crashed into the ground. So I'm looking to get my hands on, on the TIE Fighters again later on. You'll see in this video how crisp the gameplay looks. On the second video, which is the new mode that they introduced a couple weeks ago, the um, dogfighting mode, you'll see the graphical comparison in some places where it's a little bit more jagged lines. The game is more akin to that. But that being said, it's really awesome. Some people express concerns when you go to take down the walker, whether it was a simple button press and you were done. Now, it actually has a meter that pops up that you have to keep your reticle in between two specific points, so basically keeping your uh, speeder level in order for the entire period in order to bring down the walker. It was a pretty cool little effect. There were some cool differences that I learned during the, uh, the alpha build here. If you notice in the bottom of the screen when you're in a vehicle, there's a meter, especially when you're in like a TIE Fighter or the X-Wing. You basically have to choose between speed and power. So you put more power into your engines, you're going to lose some of your offensive capabilities. So your blaster shots won't be as powerful. So it usually pays off to try to level out and try to come on behind somebody and reduce power to get it hold of them. Or vice versa. The people who are speeding up want to be as powerful. So you won't have people just speeding around, taking shots, taking out stuff as, as often. The gameplay was really, really fun, as I've said a couple times already. Um, you have a bit of customization. There's like three different areas you perks you can pick up, and then you can pick up all the ba uh, on site battle uh, upgrades that let you get into the vehicles and things like that. And I will say that they did a good job with the different perk system here. There's a few different things you can get. The jetpack made it very, very convenient to jump around the map, but it was an unlimited use. It had a cooldown, so it could get you uh, out of some sticky situations or help you get behind the opponents. Uh, the walkers basically they had to call on the uplink stations to get the Y-wings to come in and bomb them, and that exposes the walker to vulnerability, and then people can shoot it. So the Y-wings don't actually take out the walker, they just take out the walker's defenses, and then everybody else has the option of taking it on. I didn't get a chance to try out any of the heroes that didn't have Luke or Vader unlocked for the map, for the mode. Or at least I never hit the criteria, and I never saw any of them running around. But if it's anything like the older games, it's going to be really fun when you get all of them. There's also going to be a mode where you're playing nothing but heroes. So that's going to be pretty exciting. Okay, so this is the dogfighting mode they revealed a couple weeks ago at the Star Wars Celebration. 
Now, if you look at the graphics on this, as I said earlier, you'll see the little bit of jagged lines and things like that. This is more what the game actually looked like from what the from what I got to play. Um, still looks great, don't get me wrong. Not as crisp as the last video. Still a lot of fun. Can't wait to actually get into this mode and learn how to actually fly these things. Uh, get my controls inverted. Uh, this is intermixed with looks like a couple of cutscenes. So they kind of do a really good job blending it. I think it's all the same engine. They just upgraded the graphics on a few of the scenes because obviously some of these look really, really good. And some of them are very cinematic, kind of like in the previous video. It's going to be a lot of fun. Looks like they're going to be doing different modes. They did announce a couple of modes for single player where you basically it's a horde mode and just co-op mode. Um, just like single player battles and things like that. It's pretty fun. Uh, as I said in the other part of the video, if you look at the bottom meter, you see the, the rising and falling based on your speed versus your offensive capability. So you have to kind of really learn to blend that. Like Z levels out, it goes you have full uh, blasters and stuff, but when you start making turns and banks, your meter starts going down, so you're not as powerful. And I guess that really does make up for you know, the fact that you're moving much faster. Anyway, they announced a beta for it, which is going to be really awesome in October. So I advise everybody to give it a try. You get some extra bonus content. The Battle of Jakku, which is really cool. You'll actually be seeing some how that battle took place. So when that beta goes live, I suggest everybody getting on and giving it a shot. You're going to have a couple modes to choose from. Honestly, my only concern with the game is the longevity of it. If it's going to go the way of Battlefield Hardline, where there's not as much in-depth to it. But it'll definitely be something that will stay in my library to play around and have some fun with some friends. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button below. Don't forget to share, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.